We've moved now to Iowa, to Clear Lake, Iowa, right next to Clear Lake. There's a big event happening already tomorrow. It's the annual kite flying event here in Clear Lake. Color the wind. And we have some folks actually flying a kite with us this afternoon. Hey guys, how's it going? It's going great. Great. So this is Larry Day and we have Stacy Don with the Chamber of Commerce here in Clear Lake. And Larry, you are the founder of this event. Correct. My wife and I. Fantastic. So you live here in Clear Lake. I've been here for 53 years. But you travel all over flying Midwest. kites. Yes. And I always take kites with me when we go on vacation. I've flown off the northeast coast, the southeast coast, California, Alaska. Fantastic. When did you become such a kite enthusiast? Age 54, 23 years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So what can people expect this weekend? It's a great event that you look forward to every year here in Clear Lake. What do people need to know if they want to come out? Stacy, I'll go to you. Yeah, the event is held from 11 to 4 right here in downtown Clear Lake. There are shuttles out by the high school as well as the old Serta factory. So if you don't want to drive your car and get in the congestion of 20,000 people, you can take a shuttle downtown, but there'll be food trucks, there'll be kites for sale. And most importantly, there'll be a gorgeous display of over a hundred kites on the lake. It's so pretty, color the wind, right? Did you come up with that name? Yes. Okay, Yes. kind of like Pocahontas, but a little different. It is, but you know, <laughs> we, we founded it 22 years ago and uh, it, we tried different names and color the wind is what we decided on. Well, I think it's perfect because it's definitely a colorful event. So folks, if they come out, there are some massive kites out here, but there's also some smaller kites and people can purchase kites too? Correct. They can purchase kites in the Lakeview room. And uh, going back to the name, uh, I'm, I'm thinking we need to change it to Kites on Ice because there's <laughs> a lot of ice out here today. There, there is a lot of ice. So do people go out on the lake for the event? They do. All of the kiters are out on the lake flying their kites over the lake. There'll be kites as big as school buses. You'll see pigs flying, octopus. You'll see dragons. You'll see Iron Man. There are just all sorts of kites over the lake. So fun. And you're flying a kite right now. How's it going? I am. I, it, you know, it pulls a little hard. I understand why they anchor these guys into the lake tomorrow. <laughs> a little workout for you today. Yeah. And good news, it's supposed to be a little bit warmer yeah. this weekend. Right. It's supposed to be 38 tomorrow. So. so it will be a nice weekend to fly some kites. Yeah, it will be. It'll be a really nice weekend. It is a lake and it is ice, so it's very slippery. If you happen to have some cleats, we would highly recommend that you wear them if you plan to go out on the lake. Some good advice. And you mentioned free, yeah, free event free, for folks. Course. Yes, of course. I mean, if you'd like to make a donation to the event, you certainly can. But it is a free event for families and for everybody who wants to come and see the kites. We cannot wait. Larry, Stacy, thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us on Midwest Access. And we have more details on our website. That's KTTC.com. If you'd like to make your way out to the lake this weekend, there are some shuttles, as Stacy mentioned. So we have all those details on our website. It's time for a break. We'll be right back. <laughs>